The mystery of the new Virginia nuclear submarines is solved. On February 12, 2022, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced that a Virginia-type U.S. Navy submarine was sighted in the area where the Pacific Fleet was conducting exercises in Russian territorial waters near the island of Europe in the Kuril Ridge. The submarine received a message. You are in the territorial waters of Russia. Surrender immediately. After these demands were ignored, the crew of the Pacific Fleet frigate Marshal Shaposhnikov used appropriate means. The U.S. submarine used a self-propelled simulator to bifurcate the target on radar and acoustic control and left Russian territorial waters at top speed. It was 12 days before Russia invaded Ukraine. Of course, we're unlikely to find out soon what the specific objective of this American Virginia-type submarine was then, but an even more intriguing mystery has recently emerged about submarines of this type. That's the mystery we're going to talk about in this video today. First, let's talk briefly about what Virginia submarines are and what they were built for. Virginia has been in production for the U.S. Navy since 1999, with the flagship SSN-774 Virginia entering service in 2004. Over the past 19 years, the Navy's received 21 boats of 4 Series. The latest, SSN-794 Montana, was delivered to the Navy in June 2022. Three more have been launched and are undergoing testing, and three more are in various stages of construction. A total of 48 submarines are planned. 34 of which have already been ordered and are scheduled to be operational by 2030. They should completely replace the Los Angeles and improved Los Angeles submarines of the 1970s and 1990s in the fleet. Essentially, Virginia is a light version of the Seawolf type subs, the first of which was handed over to the military in 1999. The main purpose of these Seawolves was to hunt down and destroy Soviet nuclear-powered submarine cruisers with nuclear missiles on board. On the Seawolf, the designers managed to achieve a significant reduction in noise, which made them very difficult to detect in the world's oceans. But the boat was very expensive, $4.3 billion apiece. They managed to build a total of three of these boats. But then American politicians decided that the Soviet Union was finished, so there was no need for such expenses. So Virginia, a budget version of Seawolf, was born. The purpose is the same, the destruction of Russian nuclear submarines. For this purpose, the first series Virginia, or as they're called Block 1, has 12 vertical launchers, as well as four 533mm torpedo tubes for Harpoon anti-ship missiles, MK-48 torpedoes, or mines. Surface displacement is 7,800 tons, and underwater displacement is 7,925 tons. Length is 114.9 meters, width is 10.5 meters. The maximum speed in a submerged position is 35 knots. Working diving depth, 244 meters. The maximum diving depth is 500 meters. The power plant is an S9G nuclear reactor. The reactor has a thermal capacity of 210 megawatts. The reactor will be able to work without refueling for 33 years. The boat is to be operated for the same period. In other words, for the first time in the world practice, the reactor does not require refueling during the whole life cycle of the ship, from construction to decommissioning. The second ships to have nuclear reactors that do not require recharging during the operation were aircraft carriers of the Gerald R. Ford type. The Virginia submarine has a crew of 100 to 120, depending on the tasks to be accomplished. The price is $2.5 billion. Understandably, Virginia has been upgraded several times. There are four series of Virginia in service now. Block 1, four boats. Block 2, six boats. Block 3, eight boats. And Block 4, three boats. Notably, the price on the first two Block 3 submarines dropped to $1.8 billion. Of the significant things that have changed, instead of 12 vertical Tomahawk launchers, the Block 3 and Block 4 submarines have two revolver-type launchers with Tomahawks in each. That is, the total capacity of the cruise missile salvo has not changed, 12 missiles. But the cost per Block 3 submarine, except for the first two and all Block 4 submarines, has increased to $2.7 billion. Finally, we come to the Virginia-related mystery. It's known that the U.S. has been working on the next modernization, Block 5, since 2017. The new submarine's displacement will increase by more than 2 tons, 
and the hole will become 21 meters longer. This space was needed to accommodate the new launchers for Tomahawks so that the total salvo would reach 40 missiles, which is more than threefold. Well, where's the mystery, you say? The significant increase in firepower is certainly impressive, but it's not in any way a sensation or a mystery. But the fact is, the U.S. Navy has requested $5.1 billion for the first Block 5 submarine in fiscal year 2024. That's almost twice the cost of one Block 4 submarine. Now remember, the cost of one Seawolf, which seemed to be too expensive and for that reason was discontinued, it cost $4.3 billion apiece. That's almost a billion dollars cheaper than the Virginia Block 5. But at the same time, for example, the last submarine, the Seawolf SSN-23 Jimmy Carter, can dive to 610 meters, and its operating depth is 580 meters. Recall that corresponding specifications for Virginia are 244 meters and 500 meters respectively. The boat can carry up to 50 Tomahawk or Harpoon missiles, which is 10 more missiles than Block 5, and at the same time it costs as much as $800 million cheaper. What's the secret here? What is the mystery? Of course, no one will give you the exact answer. This is a strict state secret. For example, the same SSN-23 Jimmy Carter for 18 years is already in the service of the U.S. Navy, but the characteristics are still classified. But the publication on the authoritative website 1945 opens up the mystery. It's all about the extra section, about 70 feet long, housing four Virginia payload modules abbreviated to VPM. Each of the four modules has seven vertical launchers for Tomahawk Block 4 and Block 5 cruise missiles. There are 28 Tomahawks in total. In addition, two forward vertical launchers with six missiles each will be retained, as envisioned in previous designs. The total of 28 plus 12 is 40 missiles, as we said earlier. Now for the armament of these subs, Tomahawk Block 4 is the 2004 version. It differs from older modifications in its ability to be redirected via satellite to one of 15 alternate targets. Block 5 is still in development. There will be two versions of the missile. Block 5A envisions a modification of Block 5 with MST homing head, thus an anti-ship version of the Tomahawk will again appear in the arsenals of the U.S. Navy. This missile was already in service, but it was abandoned in the mid-90s. Later, the Tomahawk Block 5B, a variant of the original missile with a J-Muse warhead of increased power, will appear. With it, it's proposed to hit a wide range of targets, including protected ground targets. If Virginia's new submarines are equipped with both versions of Tomahawks, it means the submarine's mission range is expanding. They can now attack both land targets and surface ships. And now for the most important part. The VPM units can be reconfigured to work with advanced munitions. What kind of munitions? Hypersonic missiles, of course. It's supposed to be an IRCPS hypersonic ballistic missile, the warhead of which is a CHGB hypersonic warhead. Its range will be 500 to 1,000 kilometers and speed up to Mach 8, or up to 10,000 kilometers per hour. Work on the missile is scheduled to be completed in 2028. It'll be installed not only on submarines, but also on the Zambolt class destroyers. The warhead of the ship's missile will be the same as on the hypersonic air-launched AGM-183A missile. A $22 billion contract was awarded in late 2019, requiring the U.S. Navy to receive 10 next-generation submarines by 2029. The Electric Boat Shipyard in Groton, Connecticut hosted a keel-laying ceremony on December 7, 2022 for the first Virginia Block 5 SSN-803 Series Arizona, which will come out with VPM units installed. But this is far from the end of Virginia's nuclear submarine program. Plans are already being worked out for further upgrades to the submarine force. As in the recent past, it'll be accomplished by successive upgrades to the existing design. Two new submarine series, Block 6 and Block 7, are planned for the near and medium term. In the future, the deeply modernized, improved Virginia project is expected, but we'll talk more about these plans in one of our next videos. So to keep abreast of the latest news, not only about Virginia submarines, but also about other modern weapons, subscribe to our channel. And if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. It'd be the best reward for us.